Most people have in their long-term travel view, a plan to explore Europe. One of the best ways I have found to cover the European continent is by rail. Depending on when you wish to travel, how much time you have for your vacation and how quickly you want to get from place to place will determine which type of train travel is best. Most European high-speed trains now require you to reserve a seat and if you hold a rail pass usually the seat reservation cost is reduced. However getting the actual train that you want at your preferred time of departure can be the challenge. Sometimes buying a point-to-point -point ticket can work out to be cheaper or a pretty similar price. For example, in Italy you can travel from Rome to Florence to Venice picking up cheaper point-to-point -point tickets depending on the time of day you travel. If however you want lots of flexibility and like to get off the beaten track, then an Europe Rail Pass may be just what you need. A rail pass is certainly a great way to explore Europe, as all passes allow unlimited travel within specified validity boundaries on the national rail networks of a particular country. Because European countries' passes can vary you just need to be vigilant and check how long the pass is valid for, usually ranges from 15 days to 2 months and the number of days that are allowed for actual travel, usually between 3 and 10 days. Deciding how you want to get from place to place in Europe is the next thing. Do you want to go high speed like the ice train in Germany which can reach speeds of 300 km per hour or take the slower option on regional trains like Trenitalia in Italy? European high speed trains have a big advantage in that they are more direct, linking greater distances and reducing travel times by about one third that of regional trains. They also offer more flexibility, more frequent services, more comfort, but are also more expensive and a reservation is a must. Regional train services in Europe are of course cheaper and tend to include more stops and are less direct, maybe the need for train changes. They usually have the older style carriages with compartments that hold 6-8 people, but on the plus side you generally do not need to make a reservation. I have traveled on both high-speed and regional trains in Europe and loved both. It really comes down to the amount of time you have to explore, but combining your train travel with a bargain airfare or, depending on your needs even first-class airfares, traveling Europe can be a real trip experience. Article Source HTTP colon slash slash easy articles dot com slash question expert equals n underscore bane